In today's video, I'm going to be testing Grok. This is an AI agent AI tool made by XAI. It's a company owned by Elon Musk. And I'm going to use the Imagine feature, which will help me animate my photos. So I'm going to use still photos and bring them to life with Grok. So I've downloaded a set of five photos. Okay, that's the first one. This is the second one. This is the third one the fourth one and this is the fifth one and i'm going to use grog and see really how powerful this is and in this video i'm also going to demonstrate you know how this thing works because a lot of people are asking this so you need to log in into grog you can use your x account or also google account while you're there you can just type like grog.com imagine okay and then guys from here you're going to be able to upload your file so i'm just going to go now in my download folder Let's start with the first one, okay? The first one is gonna be something that I already tried and I hope it's gonna work again. So I'm uploading a photo of a boy, right? This is a single image. Okay, so now I'm going to type my prompt and this is gonna be make me enter a Ferrari, okay? Um, I'm gonna hit here the button to just send the prompt again or just hit enter. And you can see, by the way, it will start to regenerate again because if you only upload an image, it's going to really try to animate it. But when you prompt it again, it's gonna start over. And there are two main things, guys. First things first, it's limited, it's several seconds. It also generates sound with it. And the third thing, it's really free at the moment, which is absolutely insane. And you can see, okay, Ferrari, the big F. So now, <laughs> this is absolutely crazy, guys. You can see all the shadows, it's so realistic. Not all of it, I mean, sometimes the physics is bad, like dropping the skateboard, just like that. Um, it's been weird because the skateboard just stays there. But everything else, like everything that happens around this boy here is absolutely mind blowing. So this is kind of our first example. Now let's try to get more creative. So now this is a cat and I'm gonna type a prompt. This cat is walking on the snow and slowly transforms into a futuristic futuristic let me just correct this cyborg alien all right and by the way this time i'm gonna live the standard thing this is like the standard thing is it's going to try to always like automate your uh, photo but now i'm gonna send my prompt and i really hope that it's going to blow my mind out of this world it's really amazing how quick this thing is guys and the fact that it's free and it does also work with sound it's absolutely crazy but let's see oh here we are oh my god this is absolutely insane i can tell you just look at this yeah i'm really flabbergasted by how far we are right now with this it's, it's just amazing i want to use the stand image of an old car and make this car just like casually drive into a big traffic so this car drives in the street with a lot of heavy traffic teslas okay motorbikes all right let, let's not be so creative let's just do that so let's just see what is going to happen I'm, I'm really excited that we live in an era like this and i understand all, all the caveats that come with this but if you use this really in a creative way then i think just the sky's the limit right now all right let's see i think we are okay we're here <laughs> okay we have teslas we have motorbikes do you see how creative this thing is it's absolutely crazy guys this thing is nothing less but impressive it's just so so cool okay let's continue with the examples all right i have a few more so uh, let's try to go with that one okay this one here this is the time to prove my prompt creativity all right and because you know i'm very creative i just want this person to fly in the sky like a superwoman all right this is superwoman and she flies out of earth and circles around the moon this right now is the effect from the standard prompt without me writing anything but now i'm going to enter my prompt okay here we go guys <laughs> oh my god yeah you know that's not the best uh, thing i've seen but circle around the moon like she was not okay okay she was circling 
not in a way that I imagined it, but still the fact that it was able to generate like this, I think it's just, this is just so impressive, guys. What do we want to do with this thing here, guys? You know, okay, let's pretend we have a meteor that is gonna hit and create a big crater. So a big meteor is falling from sky and is sitting with a massive impact, revealing a big crater and a hidden pyramid inside. Now, inside where? From the meteor or, let's say, from the Earth, let's see. Okay, you can see even the sound effect. Mixed feelings, but you can see the explosion and everything is just, I mean, it's cool. It's really cool, right? And it's exactly what I wanted him to do. So what you can do from here, by the way, when you click here, there's gonna be some presets. So you can also go and do like a fun version of it and a normal version of it. So the fun preset just removed my prompt and just create another time-lapse. It ain't that bad, by the way. And there are guys, so many other things that you can do with Grok, all right? You have to just go and explore it. If you click here on Imagine, right? You can use this prompt to create images. So let me just do this. A big meteor is hitting Earth and everything collapses, all right? It's amazing how quick this is. And, and what happens right now, by the way, when you generate an image, you can also go and animate it. Okay, so I click here now and boom, it's gonna make a video. So you can use Grok to create images out of nothing and then animate them, which I think is kind of cool. And again, remember guys, uh, it has its limitations, but right now it's for free. Okay, let's just see the animation of this video. Early is meteor, <laughs> okay. Yeah. Oh my god, yeah, not the best thing I've seen, but you can see how powerful this thing can get. And I really hope that you have enjoyed this video. If that's the case, check some of my other videos. Stay safe, VST over, and bye.